Welcome to this week's Coach's Corner, presented by Truist. With us is head football coach at William & Mary, Mike London. And coach, your team coming off a, a big victory on the road this past weekend at Towson. The tribe has climbed 10th in the country, and things are going well for you right now. Congratulations. Thank you. Great win. It was an opportunity for us to really kind of showcase kind of the talent that I, I believe that we have, particularly in the running back situation, our ground game. Defensively, I thought we did a good job. And then uh, we're able to do something on special teams as well. And, you know, when you can do those things, play well, play tough, play aggressive, then um, positive things can happen for you. And, and we're very satisfied, happy with the win coming off of Townsend's homecoming game and away trip and all those things like that. But, um, you know, it's, it's what you got to do if you want to keep trying to extend the opportunities to reach some of our goals. Another road victory. Tribe still undefeated on the road. Got a home game this weekend versus Rhode Island, a top 20 team, a 1 o'clock kick. We'll get to that in a moment, but I want to uh, touch base on uh, two aspects of the game this weekend. First of all, over 300 yards rushing. I mean, everybody's got to be clicking when that happens. You know, probably what, who doesn't get the, the, the most credit are the offensive line, the guys that are up there, because they've done a phenomenal job of blocking, creating holes, seams, for the bevy of running backs that we do have. And so those guys up front, we call them the big lovelies, you know, and, and they, they, they do a great job of, of, uh, you know, of creating those, those holes. But at the same time, you know, Darius didn't get sacked, you know, and, and that's, a, that's a critical element of it. We didn't have any turnovers. So those are the things that can help you win when you're consistent with, uh, with those opportunities. But like I said, the offensive line has done a, a, a phenomenal job for us thus far this season and they'd be my MVP, to tell you the truth. And on the opposite side of the ball, on the defense, uh, an incredible job, three quarterback sacks. And, uh, you know, you really held Towson, uh, for the most part, out of the end zone for three quarters of the game. Yeah, we did. The ability to, uh, to get after a mobile quarterback. Now, he got, he got his yards. Uh, he, you know, Pigram is a very talented guy, an FBS guy, started out his career. You know, and then uh, moved you know, to, on to Townsend. But our, our guys did just enough to really get after him and cause, you know, some red zone turnovers, to cause fumbles. Um, he scrambled, you know, got away with some things, but we were able to hit him as well. So just a, an all out effort by the defense once again. And, um, you know, we're very proud of their effort and just trying to put a complete, you know, game together from start to finish. But, you know, being able to, to play and withstand their best and, and, come back and, and rally, score a touchdown, or get interceptions or turnovers to help end the game. That was critical. Well, we meld into this week's game, oddly enough, or coincidentally, Rhode Island's got a very mobile quarterback, an all-CA Canada type of guy. And Rhode Island comes in here uh, after a seven-overtime victory over Monmouth. So they're going to be riding high. Yeah, without a doubt. You know, they're, again, very, very good football team. Kasim Hill, their quarterback, another guy that was an FBS guy. You know, and uh, he's done a, a, a job that uh, facilitating the ball to the receivers. They've got two big running backs. I mean, very downhill running backs. Kasim does it with his arms, with his legs. Um, defensively, you know, their their linebackers and secondaries guys are leading the, the team in tackles and explosive plays, and so they can bring it from depth and then make and cause havoc. You know, with uh, with uh, with your plan. But um, again, I I like our team. I, I like the way we complement each other offensively and defensively and the ability to, to play and utilize each other's strengths as the game is going on has, been, uh, has risen to the occasion on several, several times. So it's going to be a good game. It's, it's going to be a tough physical game. We're looking for all our fans out there to, to come out and, and, and be loud. Um, you know, it's, it's one of the last two home games regular season. So uh, we're, we're excited about it. A 1 p.m. kick. It's the Tribe taking on Rhode Island at Zabel Stadium. Hope to see you there. Thanks, uh, Coach London, for being with us. Another Coach's Corner presented by Truist.